everyone to get another Free Weeks of Developer Summit. My name is Gordon Chutlow. I'm your MC and security officer. John Baldwin over here, who's going to ditch me in a little bit, has also helped to organize a lot of this stuff. So thank you, John. And also to start out, I also want to thank Ann Dickinson from the foundation for getting like the badges and the stuff like that. So that was really helpful. You need a big yeah. Not having big badges is awesome. Um, watch a lot of things too. Yes, yes, lots of stuff. So thank you for being really quick on the opening. Um, so yeah, so welcome everybody. Um, the wireless, if you haven't already figured out, is the Geo Ottawa. Um, everyone hangs out in the Dev Summit and talks about how terrible I am as an MC. That's fine. Um, it's also mirrored to the FreeBSD Slack, which people still complain about, but whatever. Um, so but those two are there. We also have streaming, um, which I guess I need to stand here for people to hear and see me, I guess. Yes, please. <laughs> so, um, uh, and I think the link went out to current, and if somebody could... Just go to papers.freebsd.org. Papers.freebsd.org. On the front page. And it's on the front page. Of course, I'm saying this to people that are already on the screen, probably. But if somebody can maybe email that to developers, preferably not 30 of you, but if one person <laughs> uh, can send it to developers. So, that Alan, we're going to dominate. Alan, Alan please we're going to solve the 30 person problem. Yes. And if someone you. Can, is it on the wiki page already? And did someone put it on the wiki yet? I don't know. Uh, I suppose I can reload it. I have to. I think it's doing the Oh, yeah, what are you using? Oh, okay. So we can't screw it up. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't look like it's on the uh, wiki no. page or something. Right. Oh, it's, it's not on current at the moment because. Uh, it got yeah. hit in the moderation filter? Yep. Excellent. Because yeah. <laughs> it was my first post. <laughs> <laughs> so that is excellent. I love it. So, so, uh, so maybe if somebody can also post it to current when they go to post it to the developers. Or somebody from Postmaster in the room. Oh yeah, there is probably at least one of you in here that's Postmaster. <laughs> Philip, maybe. I, I enjoy everything. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. If you get it on the wiki page itself, that would be handy. Yes. 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 Um, and then uh, we've got the wiki page. Obviously, lunch will be here. Um, obviously, you folks have badges. Um, there will be T-shirts coming later. Uh, there is some catering that will be coming. Some, so, some. So we we turn out to not actually have like breakfast catering today and tomorrow. We're going to okay. try to come up with some alternatives to at least get some coffee. Are folks like you know wanting coffee or something? We can get some travelers from Starbucks. That that fit that a works. second one permanently. So What's that? We're going to find we're going okay. to figure out something about coffee. Okay, yeah. So we need coffee. It's a non-optional component, I believe. Turns out. Um, and then, oh, um, the other thing, there are, for whatever reason, they hate putting trash cans in here. So if you have trash, please walk it out the door and around. Um, the other side of that wall over there is a bunch of trash cans, and recycling and composting and everything else. So please don't throw your trash in here. Uh, hopefully, when they do lunch, there will be trash cans. Hopefully, Dan? No? no. Okay. <laughs> there will be. So we will all be walking around and put, throwing our trash over there. We will fill it up so it's over full, as per usual. Um, but that will be the way it is. And folks in the back mm -hmm. row, you have to come down. Yeah, you need to come down. Because all the food, the, the, when lunch does come, it will be in the back row. Yes. So you can't sit in the back row. What's that? Uh, you know. Well, yeah. Yes. There's a just, break before. Just remember we give Fs to the people in the back row. <laughs> um, all right. So for sponsors, we want to really thank Intel, who is uh, Gave them a whole bunch of money to us to actually put this on, so we want to thank them very much for that. Um, that was very, very generous. So everyone, thank you very much. <laughs> um, going on, uh, Free BC Foundation. Thank you very much again for coordination and always been here for all these years, um, as well as Tarsnap, who's also calling somewhere, somewhere here. Um, thank you for once again always putting up and, and helping us out, and uh, you know through all the years with Luke being a great sponsor. So thank you very much. All right, we're going to talk about our attendance has sailed up this year. I blame that to, well, just getting started late and organizing this thing. So thank you for all for, for putting up with us for getting a late start this year. So really and it came it. sooner. Like yeah, it yeah. Being a month, months. being a month sooner and also starting late apparently does not help on getting attendance. Yeah. So thank you for coming. I uh, really do appreciate it. We'll try to be better next year. We should do um, better next year. We should be better next year. So. Um, we also, and I, uh, again, I want to thank um, Ann and the foundation. They've helped out on a lot of the duties, so it was it made it a much easier process for both John and I to get this thing organized. So thank you very much for that. Um, let's see. 
places to be. This is Aunt Luke's and Lunch is here. Uh, the working groups, um, according to the wiki, will say which where they're supposed to be at 1130, 1140, or around in the back hallway, down the back hallway somewhere. Um, so just kind of follow, follow the crowd. Um, there will be also, uh, at least uh, today, the, the numbers and transport working group will be here because it's usually kind of big. Um, hackathon track is in the residence lounge. Uh, the residence is the United States. The, for the, today. Tomorrow, for today. For tomorrow, we have one of the other rooms available. Okay. And in general, for the hackathon track, in theory, there is a spot on the wiki where you can kind of self-organize and set up time slots if you want to be organized. Although I think we've failed for several years in a row for anyone to put things on the wiki. But if you actually want to be organized on the hack on something, you should like pick a spot on the wiki and then go to the right room at that time if you want to hack on that thing. If you ever, yeah. If you haven't figured it out, John's the one who actually puts the program together. I just made sure to make <laughs> spreadsheets. <laughs> um, quite true. <laughs> um, and then we have dinner tonight. It's gonna be pizza in the lounge um, around six o'clock. Pizza, and drinks, and things like that. And it's usually a good time for folks to hang around and and just chat and whatever else. Um, we would like to talk about upcoming ones, um, upcoming guest summits. Uh, I would imagine you already know you're going to be going to the Kitchener or Waterloo Hackathon on Monday if you're going to be going. Um, but if not, go talk to Ed, he's around here somewhere. Um, there's a security hackathon in Vienna. I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah, we, have, we actually have a very busy schedule. Like These three yeah. things are all within a month. Yeah. <laughs> today. And then, today. And then <laughs> Berlin, the summit. And then to keep going, because we have even more conferences, VBSD Con is this year. Um, so that'll be the, the right that, date, Stan? That, that is the right date. It's those the, the right first weekend after Labor Day. Labor Day. Labor Day. Okay. And for those that don't know, I know this because I'm organizing it. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Because Stan is working for me. This will be the first conference I've organized in the same country I reside in for about 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then uh, no BSD Cam this year for those of you who are interested in that. There's, just didn't, oh, there's no Cambridge. There's no Cambridge BSD Cam this year or BSD Cam. Yeah, and that's not sure confusing at all. Um, and then the and then your BSD Con in September, uh, which will be in Norway, which will be kind of cool. I assume there will be a death summit. It's not on the wiki page. Is someone going to someone? Yeah, death someone, death someone going to get together and do a death summit? I see finger all right, pointing. <laughs> we see finger pointing. And we'll talk to Benedict later. Uh, let's see, and then as we always like to ask, um, we always are interested, always looking for sponsors. That's always great. If more folks want to do that, it's uh, please uh, reach out to us if there's any sort of topics or feedback on anything. Uh, we're happy to take compliments and complaints. Just email them to the dev summit at pbc.org. Um, and that, um, unless there's anybody have any questions about logistics or anything else, anything, anything. Okay, so from there, uh, we're going to go ahead and get to uh, Deb's doing a talk on for foundation. Yes. So, okay, we'll welcome her up. <laughs> it's just a second turn over over here. All right, so let's see. Yeah, I think we can just change that. Yeah, so, do we have to do this? Well, so the, the extreme camera is right there. Okay. A little bit. So, how far do we know the window is? I think if you can see the lens of the camera, you're probably good. Okay. Right on the edge of the frame right now. Okay. But then how far? How far can I go? So people can. We can. We can move it around. Okay. You're fine.
going and um, and growing us to where we're at now and I'll show you a picture of our staff and on the side uh, besides running the foundation uh, besides other activities that I'm involved with my hobbies and everything um, I do spend time learning about operating systems because that isn't my background and um, I mean, what's funny is that to me operating systems is sort of high level where most people in the software world think of it as low level and um, so I spent time uh, reading uh, books, and there's a couple of books that are pretty good out there. One by Kirk Cusick, and another by Michael Lucas. And actually, I have been reading both of those books. And um, and then also I've been learning Python. And um, and the reason why I've been doing that is because I would like to be able to teach a like intro to programming class, and I thought Python would be a good language. And um, and Python wasn't that when when I was a software engineer. And, um, and then lastly, I do enjoy teaching about 3DSD, and that's something I've been sharing around the world. So that's me. So our history is uh, we were founded in March of 2000 by Justin Gibbs. We are a 501c3 nonprofit, so our whole purpose is for the public good. And, um, and so one thing I want to point out is people being uh, confused how we work compared to like the Linux Foundation. Everyone knows the Linux Foundation and they're a trade association. So their whole purpose is to promote um, the industry, the, the corporations out there. And um, and us, we are 501c3, we are a public charity light um, trying to solve world hunger. What we're trying to do is, is help get this free operating system out there to everyone in, in the world. And we're based in Boulder, Colorado. And so that's where I'm based, but we have people all over the world. And finally, we are 100% funded by donations. So this is our board of directors. Um, you might notice it changed just a bit that um, we had our annual board meeting yesterday. We would do that here in Ottawa because it's really convenient because most of us are here. And, um, and so uh, George, who was the president for the last couple of years, he decided not to stand for president again because he's really busy with the, um, the work that he's doing. And Justin Gibbs, who is our founder and was our previous president, he's um, he is now our president again. And um, and so I would like to ask the board members to stand up because I would like you to be able to put faces to people. And, and they're all volunteers too. So so I want to thank our board, but also feel free to approach them if you have any questions or anything that you'd like to see us do. <laughs> Thank you. And then here's the here's our staff. And um, and so we have, uh, let's see, three, four of us here. Um, if we can all stand up, so you can also, <laughs> I don't know why people love doing this. So Leland in the back, and now it's here, and Dixon up front. And, um, and you can see what the responsibilities are here. I won't go into detail, but I'm sure you recognize some of these names up here. So this is our purpose. I mean, really our purpose is to serve you all and, and really help make this the best operating system out there for in various uses. These are the six main areas that we currently support. Our charter, we, it, it changes. It really depends on what the needs are of the community and the project. And so we will step in and fill holes and um, <coughs> and help in areas that it may be difficult to find a volunteer to help. So software development improvements, we do have software engineers on our staff, and, um, and they are able to step in and either work on uh, bigger projects or step in and try and fix uh, smaller bugs uh, and just really keep the operating system stable and reliable. I still um, 
this list from our Toyota Links to Add Us report. And um, and so you can get more details uh, when you look at the Toyota Links to Us report that will come out. We're also going to post our status on our blog and on our website. And so, but you can see the top. Um, let's see if I can. There we go. So these are all the uh, projects that we're currently funded funding. And, and here is this list of all the areas that our um, software developers have worked on. And you can ask us about any of these projects if you are not here, but separately reaching out to Ed or one of us. And then advocacy and education. This is uh, our second largest area that we support. And advocacy is all free to see advocacy. And so we go all around the world and give presentations and workshops on FreeBSD, we also have tables at various conferences, and not just BSD conferences. There'll be uh, open source conferences like um, OzCon, All Things Open. Uh, we were at FOSDEM and SCALE in Pasadena, and we were just at Linux Fest Northwest. And um, oh, actually, um, many of you may know uh, Linux Foundation hosts uh, big conferences around the world. It used to be called LinuxCon. They changed it to Open Source Summit. And um, I think to make it look more open source oriented, so Linux oriented, uh, which was really nice of them. Um, and so, and actually, I'm going to give a talk on FreeBSD at, um, at the Wind North America in a few months. So that's really exciting. And so, some of the things that, um, like I said, uh, that we on the top that we're giving um, the presentations and workshops all around the world. So who here knows about the FreeBSD Journal? Okay, that's actually a really good showing of hands. Okay, who all here gets the FreeBSD Journal? Probably all get it free now. Forget it. <laughs> so yeah, so it's free now, so everyone should get it. And so. Uh, so we hope that, that you will do that. You just go to our website, freebsdfoundation.org. Up in the menu, it says journal, and then you can download your own copy of it. And, and please do it. The, the reason why we made it free was because there's so much uh, good information in there. And it's a professionally published journal. And so like, the articles are edited and uh, very well written. So I would really encourage everyone to get the journal. And then uh, actually, we're, we stepped in to help with the Google Summer Code program. And so we have, um, so Anne actually is on the uh, administration team, as well as uh, Mackie, um, <coughs> I can't think of his last name, Philip knows, but uh, is also an admin team, and he's been a, a part time um, employee of ours. And, um, and lastly, I just wanted to highlight some of the work that we're doing to help. Um, educate about FreeBSD, and so we have these how-to guides on our website. And so these are, you can find these also on our website, if you can see on the top right, we, under the menu, FreeBSD, we have actually our FreeBSD resources there. And then this is, this is a good example of areas that we step in to help where you can't find someone to, or a volunteer to do the work. And so on the security team, Ed Mast is on the team, Gordon, Tetla, who is just up here, he contracts under us as the um, security officer. And, um, and so the security team has actually improved quite a bit over the past year. Uh, Ruins Engineering, uh, we have an employee who works full time on Ruins Engineering and helps make sure that the releases get out on time and are reliable and secure. And lastly, Lee Wen, who's in the back, he's been heading up the continuous integration efforts, and so he's now able to work on that full time. We also provide technical leadership, and so that includes uh, presentations that we give around the world. Also, a lot of mentorship and, um, and guidance to new people on the project. We have interns on staff, and uh, I mean, we have Kirsten Cusack, who is who's been around since. What was it, Dinosaur? Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, Mr. You know, one of Mr. BSDs, because I know Mike is up there too. And, um, but yeah, it, very approachable, giving guidance to people, helping, um, helping bring people up on the project. And then also legal, we do in the trademark. And since we're a legal entity, we're able to help provide uh, legal assistance if anyone from the core team or the project needs help. We can also 
engaged in legal agreements like uh, license agreements and um, NDAs. And then lastly, we help with face-to-face -face, um, you know, meetings and uh, appointments like this. And so we'll sponsor them, we'll help plan and organize. One thing that we did step in to do this past year is help with registration for a developer summit. So it's more consistent and then we, it helps with the money too, that we can take in the money and then transfer it over. So like I said earlier, we're funded 100% by donations. And so what I did was I just provided a graph of our income versus expenses since we started in 2000. And so it shows um, you know, nice um, you know, incline. It's, um, you know, here, I don't know if people remember when Jan Coombe, who's the co-founder of WhatsApp, and uh, and they were bought by Facebook for gave it like 19 billion, and he gave us a million dollars. And uh, if you want to hear the story about Jan Coombe and why he would do that, please approach any of us from the foundation, because it's a very interesting story. But it's just to show you how we're slowly uh, growing every year, but we need to raise more money every year in order to increase our support. So what do we need from you? And uh, so since we're here to support you, please tell us what we can do to help you. And we do have a lot of resources on our website uh, from travel grants to if you have a project that you'd like funded, please uh, approach us or uh, go to our website to find out how you can do that. Uh, we would really like to know why you contribute to Free BSD. So please stop by and tell us, or you can always just send an email to info at freebsdfoundation.org. And then also tell us why you love and or use FreeBSD because we also want to hear these stories. And the reason why we want this information is because uh, we're always trying to craft messages and write blog posts and encourage other people and companies to use FreeBSD and these stories are so helpful to us. And, uh, and finally, we could use your money too. So <laughs> please consider donating to us. And finally, we're gonna have a table here at BSD Camp. And so we brought some of our swag, maybe not everything in this picture is here, unfortunately, but, uh, but please stop by. And, um, and um, yeah, pick up some swag. And why do we bring swag? And not only just to have something to give to you and get you to come to our table, but it's really to show your love for 3DSD, help us promote 3DSD, have a sticker on your computer. Uh, we do have a few things for sale that we brought with us, and, and those are all considered donations. And, that's, and so, and I'll be at the table uh, for most of the conference, and so please feel free to stop by and talk to me because I really want to talk to everyone who's in this room. So, thank you.